ഹലോ എവരി വൺ ലെറ്റ് ലുക്ക് സം ഓഫ് ദി കസ്റ്റമർ സർവീസ് പ്രോസസ്സസ് സോ ഇൻ ദ പ്രീവിയസ് സെഷൻ വി ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ദ ഓവർ വ്യൂ വാട്ട് ആർ ദ പ്രോസസ്സസ് ഇസ് ദർ ഇൻ ദി കസ്റ്റമർ സർവീസ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് സെഷൻ ലെറ്റ് എസ് ലുക്ക് സം ഓഫ് ദി എക്സസൈസ് ഓർ ദി ട്രാൻസാക്ഷൻസ് ഇൻ ദി കസ്റ്റമർ സർവീസ് how it happens so it will be like an end user level processes just to understand how the process is happening in the system so basically uh, the service processing uh, content uh, it includes many multiple scenarios for example if it is a service processing so it has got a selling a serialized product and uh, creating an equipment master uh, then customer service spare part delivery performing a service order and billing returns and repair processing creating a service order from a sales order this so these are the major scenarios belongs to a customer service uh, service processing um, scenarios or you can say the functions so here again uh, we have uh, the first scenario which is selling a serialized product and creating an equipment master record so this is an example from an ides system so for example the customer orders a personal computer during the outbound delivery serial numbers are used to determine which individual unit of the material are to be delivered in the customer so basically uh, what happens uh, so whenever you provide a customer service so as you know it's a service you are providing to the customer so the company is using an sap so you need to map the customer service or you need to track it so whenever you sell any product so suppose a product is delivered or an equipment so that will be treated as an equipment and also this those products are serially managed so in the material master you will have a serial serial number management so each individual product will have a uh, serial number assigned to it so when you deliver it you deliver it against that uh, serial number so this serial number will become uh, the reference for that product so whenever the customer Uh, raise a re- uh, incident or request for service then you will be doing against that equipment so that will allow you to map the warranty whether that uh, product is including the warranty or not so all those things is controlled based on the serial number so again uh, the customer service we need to have the equipment so the equipment will be created in ads then uh, equipment data has to be maintained for the service uh, the serial number managed uh, products so this process flow includes creating a sales order for a serialized product then creating a delivery creating a billing document and checking we can check the sales document flow then you will create an equipment data so this is the first scenario first we are selling the product okay so again customer service is a combination of uh, sd the sales and distribution as well as uh, pm plant maintenance uh, functionalities to be included but the difference between the plant maintenance and customer services uh, plant maintenance you do it for your in house uh, scenarios or you can say processes whereas customer service uses uses to give your services to your external party or a customer so in this scenario we these are the master data which we are going to use so like uh, order type so this is again it's a uh, Uh, based on an ides system so who or want to practice the system you can use this data so this master data order type is ta then sales organization distribution channel then sold to party and all those things are there so now let us uh, look into the system and see how we will be able to uh, do these things so now i am in uh, ides system so like we said first one is the creating a sales order so let me just start the transaction so initially the transaction code for uh, creating a sales order is va01 so we will put that va01 we'll enter it so like we said uh, the data the order type is ta and the sales organization will be 1000 so this is again a sales area which is defining the organizational data this is a part of the configuration so anyway we, when we go into deep we will come to that one but uh, as a user you need to understand that these are the data which is required to create a sales order you need the sales area basically so sales area is uh, includes the major or the mandatory is three things sales organization distribution channel and division 
So, there are additional uh, informations like sales office, sales group, these are optional. Uh, if it is configured, then you can use it, otherwise it is not required. So, once you enter these details, you can either press enter key or you click this icon. So, it comes to here. Now, here we need to provide the sold to party. So, sold to party means the customer. So, customer will have a number. So, in our scenario, we are using the master data of 1171. So, this is the customer reference number. So, we use this. Then, ship to party, for example, this case comes to you, the, you are billing to somebody and delivering to somewhere else, then you can have a ship to party. But uh, in our case, it is the same. So, you can keep it blank. Uh, then this is a PO number. So, PO number means customer PO number. So, whenever the customer provide your PO that you can put it here if it is a purchase order against a purchase order or you can say customer reference number. So, whatever the reference number is customer is giving that you can put it. Suppose uh, let us put uh, the reference number as TA117-SM. Then let us say uh, PO date when the PO came say let us say it is uh, two days back it came, so we can put it that one. Then the delivery date, uh, so let us say the de delivery date is today itself you are delivering it or you can have the another date, does not matter. Then the, these are the things which automatically comes from the master data. Now let us put the, the material what you are going to sell it. So the material is uh, R dash uh, 1. 001. Let us say this is the product which we are selling it. So, and let us say we are selling it one quantity. So, let us put the quantity, then uh, you enter it again. So, automatically from based on the master data, all the details came. So, let we can verify whether the system all those things are uh, done or not. Then we can go to the shipping data. See, before that one, I just want to see that in any sales order, there are two levels of, uh, let us say, the details. One, we call it as a header level. So, whatever you are seeing, these tabs and details, which is belongs to the uh, header data. So, here also you can see the shipping uh, when the details is coming here. So, now for example, if I want to go to the uh, item data, you can select this line item and go to the detail, display item details. So, again we have the multiple tabs here, it will come to here. So, here also we can see the shipping. So, what is the details uh, from where it goes to and all those details will be here. Okay. Then we can also check the schedule lines. So, schedule lines means when the delivery is confirmed. So order is here, rounded, then confirmed quantity. So, the confirmed quantity it is showing it after 2 days. Okay. So, this way we will be able to get the details and we can be able to see it. And then most important thing is you need to add the prices. So, the prices we will be adding it from the condition tab. So, here we can add the price condition. Let us say uh, PR00, this is the price we need to add it. So, for example, this is how many euros. So, let us say 150 euros or let us say 500 euros, whatever the amount it comes. So, we can put that one, then enter it. So, all the details came. Now, we can go back, then we can save the document. So, a standard order. So, number, order number, it will, the system will give you. So, we can note down the order. So, so for our exercise, so let us copy it, but uh, not necessarily. There are multiple reports available. So, no one is going to remember all this number and no need to note it down also because that is the purpose of the system. But as a uh, exercise or learning time, we can just use that one. So, our order is there. Now, if I want to display the order, we can go here, sales document and display. Since we have just processed, the order number will come here. Otherwise, we can search here. There are search options. So, so we will just uh, put the order number, then enter it. So, it will the same sales order will come in the display mode. So, we have created a sales order. So, now let us look uh, what is the uh, next step is, is equal to. So, normally uh, there are 
two way of uh, processing the sales. See, in the sales, one is that you create an order, then you bill it against the order. Okay, mostly the service uh, sales is happen that way. So order, then you do billing. But when you when you talk about a product, so when you are uh, uh, giving selling a product, the product sales happens. So you first you create an order. So against an order, you deliver it. Okay, you create a delivery. Then against that delivery, it will go to the uh, billing. So first you deliver it, then against that you will go to the delivery. So just to create a delivery, so let us go back to the exit transactions, then let us go to the delivery transaction. So delivery transaction is VL01N. So let us put that transaction, then enter it. So now most important is the shipping point. So the shipping point is uh, 1201. So from where you are ship, uh, shipping it that you need to select it, then you put the selection date. Uh, then uh, you put the order number, then you enter it. So the item comes here. So here the item came. So now you need to choose the serial number. So which, see for example, this PC or computer, whatever you are talking about, this product is serially managed. So here we need to choose the correct product which has a serial number. So see suppose. Uh, you have uh, 100 PCs in your stock. So each each PC will have a serial number against it. So whenever you are delivering it, you cannot randomly deliver it. But where are goods which is not serially managed? Suppose uh, the products from a retail perspective. So there is no serial number, right? So you can deliver any item. But when it comes to the product like uh, where the customer service is managed or warranty managements are there, where you need to select the correct serial number what you are going to deliver it. So for that purpose, uh, so you select the item, then we will go to extras, then there is serial numbers. So you choose a serial number. So either you, you can choose it here or you go to here, then you can have option to select the serial number. So this is a serial number selection. So, so let me just uh, execute this. So it will give you the list of uh, product which has the serial number. So let me select one product, one the first serial number which is 10044. Okay, then choose that one. So the serial number came here. So if you know the serial number, you can just simply put it, you know. Uh, otherwise, since uh, here we do not know what we are going to deliver, that is the reason it is going to select it. But in reality what happens when you do the shipping, so you know the product which you have selected from your store, you can enter the number, that is one way. Another way is uh, if it is a huge warehouse and uh, the guy who somebody want to go and pick it up from the warehouse, then you have to choose a serial number and give it to them, okay, this is a serial number which we are delivering against this order, then that person will go and uh, select it. and. Uh, choose the product and it will come back. Okay, so now this is done. So we have uh, selected the uh, serial number. Then now uh, we can save this order. So our delivery has been created. Now the delivery the note is created, now you need to have a transfer order. So what we are talking about is, uh, what we created is a delivery order. So now we need to create a transfer order. So transfer order means uh, from the warehouse, we need to move that item for the delivery. So here uh, there is an option, you can click subsequent function and create transfer order. So for example, I will go to the change mode, the same delivery, okay. Then here we can select this line item, then say subsequent function, then we can have, we can choose create transfer order. So do you want a subsequent function, which is asking, 
let us say yes. Okay. This is one way. Another way is you can use the transaction code LT03 and create it. Okay. So, let me just go to from here. So, here uh, the delivery came. Okay. Then other details is automatically selected. So, here warehouse number is automatically chosen, plant is done, then delivery is uh, proposed, then here there is an option whether you want to uh, process it uh, foreground or uh, background. So, let us say it, let it pro uh, happen it in the background the picking. So, then uh, what is the quantity you are going to pick? So, we are going to pick it as the first one, only the uh, picking quantity. So, here we, are, we have this one include picking quantity in delivery or include picking quantity in delivery and post GI. So, this is two options. So, basically uh, what is GI means goods issue. So, one, once you create a delivery, so that is only a delivery is created. Once you want to confirm the delivery, then you need to have a post goods issue. So, if you choose the two, uh, option 2 then what happened it will go and do both it will include the quantity from the delivery then post goods issue but if you do not do that one then post goods issue you need to do it. So, let us select the second option then uh, enter it yeah so we have you can see that the transfer order has been created. So, what we did, we did the transfer order and as well as we have posted the goods issue. Now, we can create a uh, billing document. 